Hi Internet and welcome to your weekly episode of Animal News. I would like to start with thanking my Twitter friends for pointing out that the last week episode had a problem with the audio in some parts of it. This week we are improving the audio quality and using more graphics to engage with you. Also we have new videos coming up dealing with some confused common beliefs about animals in general and about dogs and cats especially. So we have three subjects lined up for you to choose from. First one is, are cats loners by nature? Second one is, will grass upset my dog's stomach if he eats it? And the third and the final one is, do dogs sweat? So please choose one of them. Let me know in the comment below or, s or send me a tweet on Twitter with your choices. So we can start right away next week with you, the top choice. In this episode, you will be getting all the interesting news about animals around the world in one place. And we have a very interesting research for you. Our main story for today is over 20 countries had dog meat on their food menu at one point of their history. Last week, there was the dog meat festival in China and it's still uh, going on. And the story is still covered by a lot of news article. This week, we wanted to have an in-depth look in what's happening in around the world and the dog meat issues and we find a very interesting facts which will lead to a lot of very interesting questions during my research i found that eating dog meat is something being practiced in many many countries around the world not just china and korea and those countries fall in three categories First category is traditions and mythology, as in the case of China, they eat the dog's meat out of traditions and mythologies, old stories surrounding the benefits of eating dog meat and drinking alcohol in certain time of the year. Second category will be sports and celebrations. Some countries and some cities in some countries in Africa, as in Cameroon and Nigeria and Ghana, they have annual sports and celebrations where they eat dog meat and the trophy of these sports games, what, that, what they call sports games, is the dog's head. Third category is war times. Many, many countries, long list of countries had dog meat as food in war times, the hard times. They're, then they explained it and said because there was a food shortage and so and so and so. That list they have Germany in it, have France, have Netherlands, have a lot, really a long list. So it's not just China and it's not just Korea. It's a lot of other countries had dog meat on their, on their food menu at some point. But is dog meat legal? Is it something right to be done? Well, surprisingly, when you look in the legislations around the world, you'll find you find that China and the mainland in China, there is no legislation against eating dog meat. But in Hong Kong and Taiwan, which is parts of China, it is illegal to eat meat there. When you look in Canada, Canada don't have a, a law to regulate that. It's not illegal to do that as long as the dog is hygienically cleaned and so and so and so. I know that this is extremely disgusting, but these, these are the facts surrounding the, this subject. In many religions, eating dog meat is something forbidden and not supposed to be done. And even their laws and regulations make it illegal, as in Jewish dietary laws and Islamic dietary laws. Buddhists uh, have, have the dog meat as one of the five forbidden foods to be, to be eaten. Correcting this could be done by laws and legislations. And education, of course. Actually, this is being done now by a lot of animal people and animal organizations. They are pushing through to see this happening. Although the effort is not that big and they need the support, your support and my support, everyone's support to make this happen, they are achieving and pushing forward. Because this issue, for me, for you, it is wrong, it's disgusting, it's morally wrong, it's ethically wrong, but for some people, this is part of their traditions and, and education and culture. So they need to see why it's wrong and they need to know that there is a penalty in place for doing this. 
let's get to animal crimes this week. This week we are covering three animal crimes. The first one is in Cyprus, where three males are involved in, in throwing a live puppy in a box crusher. Yeah, a live puppy in a box crusher. People passing by saw so two males throwing a live puppy in a box crusher they stopped them they took the puppy uh, and they rushed to the veterinarian the puppy now is being uh, monitored by the veterinarians the, the presidential palace in cyprus condemned these actions and promised that they are gonna create a regulating uh, body to regulate animal welfare in the country while some of us keep golden fish as pets and give them names and love them Others eat them alive. In the UK, two young men was banned from keeping animals for three years by the court for putting up a live golden fish in a cup of beer and swallowing it. RSPCA said this is a terrible thing to be done to an animal. Imagine with me, a cute, nice, white, fluffy rabbit being injected with a psychoactive substance which could cause signs from sadness and depression to acute convulsions and pain and even death. In New Zealand, the associate health minister wanted to keep animal testing for psychoactive substance on animals. While he knew that the results are inconsistent, but he wanted to keep on testing these drugs on animals i think this is an animal crime even think just thinking about it from animal crime news to our argumentative news this week we are giving you three stories to argue about with your friends the first one is dissecting animal hearts is coming back to the educational system of the uk after 30 years Starting from the next year, biology students in one of the biggest board exams in the UK will be required to dissect animal hearts and other organs to get hands-on experience on animals. The second one is rats can feel regret. And a study done on rats proved that rats can feel regret for missing certain kind of food in a maze. The argument here is, do we need to know this kind of information? Does it worse the experiment on the rats? And is this really helpful for a human's future? Our third and last argumentative news or question for today is, is education really the reason for the the rise in animal cruelty convictions in parts of England, as RSPCA suggested last week. At the last part of your weekly animal news, we are going to go quickly to three different parts of the world. We're going to start with the Middle East, the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, where at this time of the year, they are receiving an increased number of phone calls regarding abandoned animals, as some of the workers there are leaving the country for their annual vacation they choose to abandon their animals than the expensive cost of boarding facilities leaving the united arab emirates to go to the second largest island in the world going to new guinea or new guinea where australian scientists discovered a new species of kangaroo scientists say that this part of the world is a virgin part where western scientists didn't reach and there is hundreds of new species and new breeds of animals they didn't discover yet there. Our last story for this week news could be easily converted into a horror movie. In a small city in Canada, two wild animals are causing horror. While two women were bitten by two wild animals, the police and the city SPCA are searching for them. The city cancelled some activities in the area and they are requesting from the people to be more careful about their safety. Please don't forget to choose one of the three subjects I mentioned earlier in this episode. And if you appreciate what eff the effort we've done in this video, please let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the YouTube channel, or sharing this video. 
Thank you for watching and see you next week.